thousands of Americans, the image of sand, sea, and sky seem to evoke this universal sense of escape. But while many crave the lifestyle, trying to duplicate it at home, not so much. It can be a little tricky. The challenge is to find the happy medium, what I call beach chic, and just the look this professional couple would love to see plugged into their 1940s bungalow. Can this cramped space get a makeover that will set the tone for the whole house with the end result that's a sure thing? Okay, Jason and Renee, it's time to see your new living room. Oh my gosh, this is wow. gorgeous. I, Very I feel, nice. Do we step into the Bellamar Hotel? But Yeah, well, oh my gosh. pretty much. I think better. You like it? Yeah, it's this is gorgeous. A good taste. Well, one of the things we tried to do for you was give you a cross between the hipness of the Bellamar Hotel, mm -hmm. but also a design that had more of that cottage beach feel that you liked. Also, that was in keeping with the cottage structure itself. It looks great, and as Renee said, it really does look like the hotel, number one. And number two, I see, I see space. I see things, places I can put things. I see areas that are a lot better to walk through. Right. And if we can do that and also look great at the same time, it's beautiful. The color is gorgeous. I just love the blue. It's amazing. And then the, the ceiling is painted. I that's just, right. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. Because one of the things designers know is when you introduce wall color, especially with mm -hmm. the low slanted ceiling that you mm -hmm. have, the idea is not to uh, keep it white. Otherwise, you're just going to walk in and go, oh, unfinished. Uh -huh. All right? So now the color really envelops you. And you'll notice yeah. that the color that we used on the ceiling actually goes all the way down into the shades. Now, one of the things we always try to do in rooms that have uh, tend to be either taller than they are wider or mm -hmm. longer than they are narrower is to use a lot of mirrors. Mm -hmm. If you do them in the right way, they become the accessories in the room, but they also stretch the dimension you notice the living room has taken on an entirely new dynamic. Oh, wow. The two mirrors that were over there, now we made a custom one to go over here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Which we thought looked really well, too. Yeah. Nice. So you remember all that hand gym equipment that you had? Yep. Well, it's living all right in here now. Very nice. OK? So this organic element is what bridges the gap between the, the modern and the traditional beach mm -hmm. feeling. So you have it here, you have the sisal underfoot here, and you have it going all the way down the length of the entire space in the pull-down drapes. But I know you're probably looking at that light, fresh blue color mm -hmm. and thinking of your dog right now. <laughs> yeah, I can see her just kind of tearing uh, yeah. through there, and it just looks so gorgeous and fresh right now. I'm just worried about how we're going to be able to upkeep and keep it looking so good. Well, I have a surprise for you. Okay. That's all outdoor fabric. Outdoor fabric? Yes, we actually went and got outdoor fabric, which is weather resistant and stain resistant. Wow. We shipped it to the manufacturer. Wow. And so this was all done with the same kind of fabric that you would that's designed to be all weather outdoors. So if you want to take care of these, it's really simple. You do the same thing as you would do to your outdoor furniture, a little bit of detergent. Mm -hmm. A dishwashing detergent is the best. Let them air dry outside for a few minutes, and you're good to go. Voila. This here was actually the little touch of cabana. This is the kind of <laughs> yeah, thing yeah. that you'll see at a great resort. And of course, if you add an element like this to the room on this side, we also carry that over. And the same set of drapes are now disguising your laundry room now. Oh, fantastic. So that's balanced on both sides of the space. There's no question that this shore-inspired design trend will gain in popularity as Americans' need for escape heightens. That's okay. If you can't be at the beach, create your own virtual reality right in your own home.